Everyone, welcome to Christmas Chaos, along with the final match of Survivor of the City. I am your host, Marcus. Happy New Year, and I do want to point out uh, a few things. Uh, this should have been before end of New Year. Uh, unfortunately, well, after Christmas, uh, between Christmas and now, it's been busy. I, I meant to have a birthday party. I, well, birthday was on Boxing Day. Unfortunately, had to cancel due to some nasty storms in the area, and that's another thing as well. The reason why, and also, uh, I had to do a lot of clean up around the house to get everything ready. But also, right on Christmas night, right on Christmas night, we had a power power outage, and we were out for a couple of days after a nasty storm. We actually had a lightning hit the power pole outside of our house. So, unfortunately, the plan to have this before the new year end or just after Christmas um, couldn't. I couldn't do it, so I actually got back edit finishing editing last night, which was Christmas. Uh, no, sorry, uh, New Year's Eve. So it's running New Year's Day here in Australia. So Happy New Year's Day for Australia. This is first of January, so this will should be out uh, January the second. So to everyone over on the UK and America, Happy New Year's Day for you guys as well, and hope for it's going to be a better twenty twenty four for you wherever you are. So to all the viewers, Happy New Year's Day. Like I said, Happy, and I hope. Um, you have a wonderful 2024. So let's have a look at the Christmas, uh, the Christmas Chaos match card for the show. Survivor of the City semi-finals one, match one. Dark Unknown versus Degori. Looking forward to that one. In match two, we will have Chip versus Student X. Chip, lucky to get into the quarterfinals, then match into the final semi-finals. So that is unbelievable. And he goes against Student X, another wrestler who's dominated as long as well as uh, Dark Unknown. Degree just made it into the uh, playoffs. So there you go. Then we have our normal matches for a while before we get to the Survivor of the Series final. We will have Hardcore Hardware Championship. Gridiron Joe versus Tornado Kid, the defending champion. Match four will be a Chaos Triple Chaos Championship. So the Triple Chaos Championship between DJX versus the Trader Faz. If you didn't see War Games, Faz turned on the Madhouse Rejects and joined the faction. He was the mysterious faction member, the newest member. He will go against the defending champion Midnight for that title. In match five, Judd Rudy, Judge Rudy will go against Monster Mayor because two newcomers they've been joined. They Debuted back in September, October, somewhere there. And then, match six. Do the Cage did defeat Bricks. He was the first one to defeat him in the round one of Survivor of the Cities. Cage has requested to challenge Bricks for that title. So we're going to have that match six, Chaos Show Wrestling Championship. And then, the final. Our inaugural Survivor of the City. After months, a month, <laughs> about two months nearly, uh, we will finally have a winner. So looking forward to that one. So without further ado, let's go to our matches right now. So Dark and Iron versus Degree for the Chaos Show, trip, uh, sorry, Survivor of the City. We're in now Brisbane, so we've done the Survivor of the Series tournament in Perth. So we're in Brisbane for the final here at Christmas Chaos. Very dark at the moment, and of course that means one thing, it's Dark Unknown, here he comes to the ring, looking pumped, he's done well, only one loss I do believe it was in the tournament, so he's done a incredible job and that's gave him 7 points, and you can see the red smoke, that means only for one person, the real Degori we hear, so the real Degori, and the real Degori has challenged the fake Degori for the KO Championship, you'll see that in February with uh, our next big event. We're going to have a break in January. So, February. Our first pay-per-view for the year called Chaos Begins will be happening in February. 
So it will be Degory versus Degory. That's interesting. So he's coming to the ring, paying tribute to the late Bray White, who we missed terribly because Bray White passed away last year. What a shock that was to hear his passing. The ring, referee rings the bell. Here we go. Degory straight away punches. And oh, look at this. Dunk for a Cody Cutter. Off the ropes there. I thought he was going for a Dark and Owens uh, move, but he didn't. Degory dominating already. Sends him to the ropes. He drops down. Leapfrogs. What's he going to do here? Spinebuster by Degory on Dark Unknown. And punches him. Already seen a match between these two already. I'm sure Dark Unknown. Oh, sorry, Degory is looking for revenge. Just sends him against the ropes and then stomps on the stomach and then drops his foot on the back to showboat. And you all guys know how I hate showboating. Should be focusing on the opponent at all times. And then he's showboating again. Dark and Oak in trouble. Trump go drop kick, but missed. Dark and Oak got out of the way. Lucky. Degory's a big guy. And then stomps on the back. Now stomps it again. Trying to. Oh, a reversal by Degory. Throws him nearly onto the ropes there. Oh, he's going for a dead left power slam, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, dead left power slam. Goes for the cover. One. Straight away. Yeah. I'll tell you the rules in a minute for our second you know, second match, but this is getting very exciting. Tidal wave. Yes, on to Dark Unknown. Dark Unknown seriously in trouble. Going to go for it again. By Degree, he does. Oh, he's going to go for a third one. No way. Oh, and Dark Unknown wisely gets out of the way. He saw that happening. Reversal. Going for a sunset flip. Yes, it is. On to Guri. Dark Unknown in charge here. Stomps on his arm and then poses. Guri outside the ring. That is bad because look at Dark Unknown. He's up top of the ropes. He's going to fly. Oh, <laughs> oh and he hit his knee onto that mat as he got. He missed to Guri. Voided him. Unbelievable. Go for a power bomb oh, onto that thin mat that has concrete underneath. Crowd are going wild here in Brisbane. Sends Dark and Oak back into the ring. He's going to, no, off he's going to top right. No, oh, and Dark and Oak was waiting for him to go for a kick to the head, but Degree did not like that, and now he's going to be punished. Bear hug. Got him in a bear hug. This, this is going to be interesting. Bear hug here. We're now down to seven and a half minutes to go in this match. Oh, collapses behind the ears and going for a hurricane runner. He does. He's showboating when he should be focused on him. Oh, he's going to go for that interesting move. Tries to degree blocked. Oh, and he kicks him in the back of the leg. Smart move by Dark and Own. Dark and Own then Frankenstein's in. Oh, he's going to fly, but it doesn't. Oh, Degore tried to go for something, and he showboats again. Unbelievable. Degore's got him up. No, oh, Dark and Oon has reversed it. DDT onto the floor. The announcers there getting nervous. Oh, close line. That's what you get for showboating. The referee is counting. He got to 10 to get back in the ring. It sends to Dark, uh, Dark and Oon back in. Degore's following now. Oh, he's going for the spin it. He's one of his signature moves, the submission moves. I think it is. He's going for it. Dark Unknown seriously in trouble here. Referee's right there asking if he wants to quit. Dark Unknown saying no. Gets out of it. And then stomps in the back of Degori. Dark Unknown, I'm oh, trying to get for a knee, but it didn't work. Dark Unknown punches in the head. Going for a bear hug again. On Dark Unknown. Dark Unknown seriously in trouble again. Referee's right there. She's asking if he wants to quit. Unbelievable. What a match. This is only the first match. Referee says no. He elbows him to the head. Or well, the neck, actually. Then it claps him in the back of the head to get out of, the, out of it. Oh, wheelbarrow. DDT. Yes, wheelbarrow. DDT by Dark Unknown. Soccer kick to the back. Oh, kick to the front there. Drop kick. Beautiful drop kick by Dark Unknown. Degree's trying to get himself up. Oh, this is going to be close line over the ropes. It is. And down goes Degree. Dark Unknown gets out of the ring. Referee will count again. Oh, a calf kick. Oh, Dark Unknown. Don't show up. Too late. Degree sees it. 
Send him back and straight to the ring. You can tell how serious DeGore wants this. He wants to get a win and get into the finals. Punch by Duggan. Duggan Oates sending him up for something. Is it going to be the into the unknown? He's got him. Into the unknown. Hits his finisher. Goes for the cover. Referee's there. One. Two. No. <laughs> Nearly a three count. Duggan I couldn't believe it. He's now focusing what he's going to do next. He's going up top. Oh, is he going to go for that? Phoenix Splash. He's going for it. Phoenix Splash. Oh, to Degore. Referee's going to be there. One. Well, she's waiting. One, two, three. Dark Unknown has done an upset and is into the final. Wow. Here's the replay into the unknown by the Dark Unknown. Then he went for that for Phoenix Splash. How about that? Goes for the cover. One, two, three. Referee waited a little bit, but that's. Anyway, it didn't matter. Cut the count. Goes for it again. One, two, three. So Dark Unknown is into the final of Survivor of the City. How about that? Crowd amazingly giving him a round of applause. He deserves it. He's done well. He's made it in the final. We'll have to see who his opponent is going to be next. As it's Junex versus Chip. So it's Chip versus Junex in this one. Just to tell you the rules. It's matches are 10 minutes with 10 can out. So you've got 10, uh, so 10 to can out. Uh, and so 10 minutes. No points in this one. We we'll always say about the points. Two points for the win, one point for the loss, one for the draw. But in the semi quarterfinals to the finals, there's no such thing as points anymore. Let's just see who you can beat your opponent to get into the semi finals and in the finals. And as this man, Chip, one half of the Chip in Dale, his take part, of course, defeated him for that TV title. You saw that at uh, Nightmare on Carroll Street. We also should have a, a non cow show sanctioned match. A great Australian bash happening soon with Ducky G and uh, Jakey in charge saying that the commissioner has no authority. But I wouldn't be surprised if the commissioner show up somehow. Of course, we'll wait for um, Nathan Scott's reply on his stipulation after he his team won at uh, War Games. And here comes Student X. Of course, member of the School of Honor. So here we go. The last semi final. Who's going to join Dark Unknown into the finals? The referee rings the bell. Here we go. There's a lockup. And oh, it's reversal by Student X on chip. Punch in the guts. Locks up, sends him to the ropes. Drop down. Oh, collided. I thought he was going to do something there. Whoa, look at this move. Oh, Hurricane Runner. Look at that. Unbelievable. Student X. No one knows who this guy is. We still don't know who it is. All we hear is saying that he could be the student that disappeared it down the hallway of a school many years ago. We don't know who this guy is, but it's incredible. Oh, going for the elite trigger. Yes, to the head of that man, Chip. And he's straight away going for him, but that was a bit of a sloppy cover. Chip's up. Still feeling the effects of that nasty gash he had on the side of his head. Round three, I do believe. Oh, I thought Stu next was going to fly, but he didn't. Kicks, follows him out. Side, the referee's ringing. Ring announces once again, getting nervous. Stu next. Going for a leak trigger on the outside. Oh, and Chip. My goodness, that is devastating move. Referee's count on three. Chip throws him to the barricades. Four. Stu next needs to get back in now. He does. Oh, drops the head to that knee of Chip. Chip's going for something here. DDT. Oh, my goodness, that's devastating. He has to use that as a finisher. And kicks him. Another kick, another kick, and punches. Oh, spin knee. How about that? Why right, Chip? Drops the knee onto the leg. Oh, Stu next. Bring him down. We're almost eight minutes into the match, so two minutes into this match already nearly. Then stomps on the back. Oh, stomps the knee to the head. Oh, he's going for something interesting. Oh, he's going for this. Um, we've seen this before, and uh, so many wrestlers use this as one of their favorite moves. Drops the knee to the back of Stunex. Under two minutes near, uh, two minutes uh, done, under eight minutes to go. Oh, knee to the head. And we do believe 
Student, it's hard to see, but we do believe he, Student X is bleeding. Now he's going to do a BT trigger. Oh, no. give me a sign to Student X. Check is waiting. He's waiting for Student X. He's going to fly. Here we go. <laughs> Beautiful move by Chip. Crowd erupt. Drops the knee onto the head of Student X. Student X bleeding, we do believe. Yeah, it's hard to see with that mask on. Knee to the guts a couple of times. Fans in Brisbane are behind. These guys are actually probably cheering the Student X more than Chip. Referees counted to four, I do believe, but uh, Chip broke up the count. He's now going to send him into the ring again. Oh, what about that? Chip was feeling confident, but Student X got up and straight eye clotheslined him over the top rope. And look at this, he's got for the kick, side kick to the head off the middle of the rope. Goes for the cover. One, two, no, no, not at three. Boy, oh boy, punch him straight away, Student X. He needs to, get up, needs to get on him again. Sends him to the ropes. Once again, down, drop down. Gonna be leapfrog. Yes, it is. What's he gonna do? Hit no nope. collision once again. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's still on. Oh, kicks him in the chest area and knocks him down. Student X is now on fire. Psychic. Oh, hall pass. Hits the hall pass. Goes for the cover. Referee's right there. Go for the cover. One, two. No, <laughs> nearly a three. Nearly a three, but it wasn't. Student X. Oh, he's going up top. This means one thing. Still don't know what he calls this, but he's gonna go for it. No, he's not. He's not going for it. He's asking him to get up. What is this? What is he doing? Drop kick. We see him do that last time. Doesn't go for the cover this time. What is he doing? Oh, he's going to go for a hall pass. No, he's going for the. He's going for that move. Oh my goodness! Rolling code breaker. I think I know he's called it something before. I think was it student code? Oh, there he goes. He went for it. That finisher. Unbelievable. Goes for the cover. One. Two, three, and that is it. Student X moves to the finals. It's going to be him versus Dark Unknown. Here's the replay. Hall pass by Student X. And he goes for that unbelievable move. Don't know what he calls that, but boy, oh boy. How about that? Student X versus Dark Unknown into the Survivor of the City finals. Light heavyweight versus a cruiserweight style wrestler. That is crazy. No super heavyweights. No heavyweights in the final. Think about that. That is not happening. That's crazy. We now go back to your normal schedule program as we got the hardcore hardware. We're on Joe, who's done well with a couple of wins so far to finish it off. So let's see if he finishes off the 2023. And gets a good run as the our wing announcer, Mr. Back to Front, is telling everyone about this rules. There's no, simply no rules because it's a hardcore X title. As Tornado Kid made it into Survivor the City. Be interesting to see who next wrestlers will be. Plan to have that in November again. We'll see. It probably will be on uh, the new WW2K24. Haven't heard much about that yet. Normally they'd say what we're we looking forward to see around Royal Rumble weekend. So we'll see. So still using 2K23 all the way till, I don't know, until I got all the wrestlers blood installed, made, I should say, into WWE 2K24. So here comes the champion, the hardcore ex-champion, Tornado Kid. Coming to the ring. Talking to him before, asking him how he feels. He said he feels second-hand, but he's feeling great. No matter. So here we go, the hardcore hardware title for Cow Show Wrestling. Match three. After two semi-finals of Survivor City, Dark and Iron vs. Dreamworks, that is incredible. And now going against some Gridiron Joe right here. New attitude. He's the new newest member of School of Honor. I'm sure he's hyped after seeing his faction member, his stable mate, of course, Dreamworks, get on to the well, finals. And there is Tornado Kid. Been around for a long time. Made his debut at uh, Royal Extreme Wrestling Federation, went over to uh, Outback Championship Wrestling, then went on for a bit to Extreme Revolution Wrestling, and then last year made his debut in Chaos Show Wrestling. So he's been everywhere. 
referee shows Brito and Joe the belt. Of course, Brito and Joe normally has his partner. We haven't seen him for a while. Fit Ed, we haven't seen him for a long while. We will we'll have to see if he will turn up somewhere. His partner, Fit Ed. So we'll have to see that. We'll have to see uh, J JD JC Cruz. Oh, sorry, JC Grunge making his return. And hopefully, we'll see him and Heavy Mill Kid back in tag team action. So the referee rings the bell. Here we go. And Strato into the turnbuckle. All right, Tornado Kid. Tornado Kid kicks the leg of Grito and Jay. Straight away going to the leg and pumps in the head. Got him into a sleeper. Oh, about that. Crowd erupting. You can see in the background. Oh, a stunner draw breaker by Grito and Jay to get out of it. They locked up. Grito and Jay's got him up. Back breaker. Back breaker. He's got a sin blind. Yes, he does. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Good on Joe Fino. This is down. Lock up. Going for suplex throw. Yes, he does. Over the other side of the Chaos Christmas Chaos logo. Tornado Kid. Kicks. One of the kicks. Goes for the cover straight away. Referee's right there. Run. Going outside. He's going to go for some goodies, I do believe. And he's got a table. Oh, look at Grid on Joe trying to put some punches, but no, gets a table to the face by Tornado Kid. Punch to the gut. Oh, what is this? I oh, thought he's going to slam on the table. He slams him on the ring, edge of the ring open. Grid on Joe now in charge. Tornado Kid in trouble. Sends him all oh, into the apron. I thought he was in the post, but he just missed him. Going for that back break, oh, not once but twice, and then he's going to throw him. He does. Oh, onto that outside floor. Sends it back in the ring. No can out, remember. There's no, there's no disqualification. Style hardcore match. He's going to go for a cover. Straight away. Referee's there. One. No, just the one count. Could have, quick, could have been there a bit earlier, but no, it doesn't matter. Would have been two otherwise. Good on Jay. Going for a power bomb. Yes, he is. Powerbomb on to Tornado Kid. Now goes outside the ring. He's going to get some box of goodies, is he? No. Nope. Oh, my goodness. He faked that. He stood there waiting for Tornado Kid to be coming after him, and he got out of the way. Amazingly, Tornado Kid got up and straight away. Well, Red Eye Joe was looking for some goodies underneath the ring. Went for the ripcord elbow. And now he's going to look for some goodies. Yeah, here comes the Singapore Kane. It's ouchy time. Oh, slapped on across the head. Oh, my goodness. Oh, brings him down, and he's bleeding. Oh, no, and Stunex just stunts. Very crazy game. Brook Versa stops him. Got him up. Goes from... I oh, oh, thought he was going for that wood breaker again, but he's done it. Oh, three row, and then slams him back down. And Joe uh, Todd away, like his mentor. Headmaster. Suck. Going for oh, interesting move. Almost like a rock bottom. Oh, trying to go for the single cane, missed. Tornado Kid locks up. Tornado Kid is going for a suplex throw. No, nope. GTS style suplex. Incredible. And now he's going for only for him for a box of goodies again. What is he going to get? He's got the sledgehammer. He's got the sort of don't pose while he's got the sledgehammer. Oh my gosh, that's why he didn't want to pose. Should not pose. He just got one in the gut and he's going to do it multiple times. Good on Joe, seriously in trouble. He gets out of it. What can Joe do now? Rib breaker again, yes. Once, twice, going for those ribs of Tornado Kid and then just sends him down. He gets hooked on the ropes. He's going for the sledgehammer. Oh, sends him in the gut. Sends him to do it again. Then just does again. Can't blame him. That's Tornado Kid did it to him. Trying again, but kept missing him. Tornado Kid gets out. He's going for Super GTS style. No, neck breaker. Goes for a neck breaker. Devastating move. Goes for a cover. Referee's right there. Cover. One, two, three. That is it. Tornado Kid defends the Hardcore X. That's been a long time we've seen someone defend the Hardcore X title. That's unbelievable. There's a replay. Interesting move, that neck breaker drop. Incredible move. And Tornado Kid defends his title. And he's super thrilled. Well done to Tornado Kid. Defending the title. 
How about that? Your winner and still champion of the Hardcore Hard Wedge title, Tornado Kid. Our next match is a Triple Chaos match. And it's going against Faz, the traitor, who joined the faction against DJX. Of course, we saw his tag partner win the Phoenix title last time on the, on the show in the semi-finals. And going against the defending champion, the one who defeated Student X for that title, Midnight. So Midnight is, should be really feeling good because he's been had a long break. He hasn't been doing matches besides the indie-type matches. So it would be interesting as the lights go out. And here comes Faz. Like I said, former member of the Madhouse Rejects shocked everyone to become the member of the faction. And we noticed the last time on the show, we've seen faction members trying to get Johnny Lockman to join the group. I don't know what that's about. Johnny told him to go away. So, interesting, interesting news there. Are we going to see another new member? We've already seen, by the way, two members of the faction getting tag titles. One of them was... CD Future defeating Lady Tea Time. Yes, Lady Tea Time. Her reign as the defending Chaos Zone Women's Champion has been run and done. And here comes, oh, look at this. Sort of a new po move uh, entrance, I should say, of Midnight. It actually suits him really well. He looks very dark, <laughs> mysterious there. With the face paint. And of course, Midnight. Hope to see his uh, stablemates return. Shaman, of course, one of them. He's around. We heard, saw him in the backstage. There's one he didn't come down to support him, but we might see him later on the show, maybe at uh, Chaos Begins. And of course, Zombie. We'll have to see Zombie soon. He's been wrestling Extreme Revolution wrestling lately, and I uh, hope to see him back to Chaos Show. Okay, show wrestling. So here we go. It's a elimination match. So you pin one wrestler. They're gone to make it to two. And then we have champs. Look at that. Faz straight away holds on to DJX. DJX was going for something, but gets a German suplexed. Midnight knocks down Faz. Going for record. Rainmaker goes for the cover. You can see that why Faz is not bothering to break it up. Like I said, it's elimination. Faz got Midnight. Knees him to the gut. Unbelievable. And then look at DJX. Oh, what about that? Kick off the middle rope. Watch out for Midnight. Got him. DJX in trouble. Trying to go for close. Lucky that uh, referee. Oh, Faz went for his finisher. He calls it the Faz line. He's going for the cover. That's his new finisher. No, doesn't go for it. DJX. What about that? Sort of like a neck breaker. Oh, my goodness. It's chaos everywhere. Scissors. There's the scissors there. DJX now focuses on Faz. We're not worrying about Midnight, who's coming back in the ring. Sends him to the corner. Punching the guts. Oh, he's going to go for it. He's going for the Xfinity. He's going for his finisher. Xfinity. Goes for it. Hits the Xfinity. Go goes for the cover. No, not even a one count. Oh, blue. Midnight's right there now. Trying to go for a suplex, I did leave. But get down. But why? DJX. DJX going for all the DDT. Oh, my goodness. That is devastating. We saw that Chip do that a uh, couple of matches before. Got him up once again for a snap suplex by DJX. Because DJX is a member of the Vigilante hit squad. Oh, Harlem kick by Faz. Goes for the cover. One. Oh, one count. Now Faz is focused on Midnight. Faz has got his arm around the ropes and he's just going to pull that arm on Midnight. Kicks him in the gut. Oh, and doesn't realise. Oh, what about that? Boy, DJX gives him a spin kick to the, for a reward. Goes for the cover. One, two. No. No, not even the three. DJX has got to focus. He can't be frustrated there. Oh, he's going for the Spanish fly on it. On midnight. Goes for it. Then kicks Faz into the head. Well deserved, by the way. And how uh, about that? Oh, Faz is kicked up. Look out. He's going to fly. No, DJX has got the Singapore cane. He can use it. There's also another non disqualification and just slaps him in the head. Slaps him midnight on the head. That one's bleeding. And now they're double teaming. Not, why not? Because midnight is the champion. Within him, he's out. His total reign is over. Oh, what about that? Hurricane runner. Guides DJX on the fast. 
And now it tells Nino to get up. I don't know if they are going to team. No, nope, they're not going to team. It's just going to... Oh! Flat on it. Oh, look at that. First is showboating. No surprise. Sends him back in the ring. Does DJX. Sends him up to the corner post. Punch him in the guts. He's going for the Xfinity again. He's going to hit that move. He's got him. Xfinity. Is that it? Is he going to pin the trader? Goes for the cover. One, two, no, no cover. Midnight's got DJX. Forearm to the head. Knocks him silly. And his pose, as you know. That's frustrating. He goes straight away in the punches, so he had time to pose. Oh, backhand. Knocks him against the ropes. Then focus on Faz. Calf kick to the head. Oh, Faz by Midnight. Crowd actually tuned Midnight because they want Faz to lose. Kicked by DJX. DJX going for something here. What is this? What is that? Oh, what a move. It was like a tiger drop a backbreaker. Going to send him to the corner. Faz is outside. He's going for the Xfinity. He's going for the Xfinity for the third time. Is a third time lucky charm. We'll see. Goes for it. Hits the Xfinity by Faz. Oh, and uh, sorry, by DJX. Faz. Faz has him up. Fireman, then the elbow to the back. Unbelievable. I don't know what Faz was doing. He should have left him, let him pin. Going for a flat line. He does on Faz. Actually, a bit of a insult to his faction member, the Mississippi Boat Slinger. We haven't seen him for a while. He should be back as well. He's over at XRW as well. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. Midnight is defeated by DJX. He's out. His title reign is gone. We're going to see a new champion. DJS has got the chair. Oh, Faz stops him. Faz has got the, fat, the sleeper on. He's got the sleeper on. Referee's asking DJX, does he want to quit? X is saying no at the moment. He's trying to get, break himself away from it. You know, it's just walking away disappointed. He's lost. Now, oh no, DJS has got his foot caught on the rope. No, he's still got time to calf kick him in the head. Don't show, boat. Focus on him. Oh my gosh. Oh, ripcord. Forearm to the head by Faz. Oh, now Faz has got the chair. Oh, on the knee of DJX. Unbelievable. Oh, he only did it once. Goes for the cover. Actually, that's quite smart. Do you want to go for the cover? But no, go only one camp. By the newest faction member. Oh, DJX drop kick off the middle rope. As Faz had the chair. I think it, the chair hit Faz on the head. Oh, double stop on the arm. By DJX. DJX is going to do it again, is he? No, he's going to probably drop knee. Yes, he does. On the arm. Oh, Faz. Faz in trouble. He's now withering pain. I don't know why he's saying his head's hurt him. Because his arm. But anyway, oh, now is his head hurting. Arm um, got a kick in the head. Send him to the corner. Oh, what's he doing? He's going to got the chair. He's going to slap him. Oh, missed him. Missed him. Oh, <laughs> missed him again. Lovely. He's going for the sleeper again. He's going for the sleeper. He's close to rope, but it doesn't matter. It's an on DQ. Referee's asking DJ X, does he want to quit? X is saying no. He's saying no, he's getting out of it. That's the second time Faz trying to put a sleeper title on hold on DJ X, but it doesn't work. Calf kick. Calf kick by X. He's going for something else. What he's going to do here? Forearm to the head. Yes, knocks Faz down. Show butting, but he should be focusing on Faz. Oh my goodness. Punch in the head by. Oh, and the Faz line. Faz line by Faz. Goes for the cover. Referee's right there. One, two. No! Faz coming. I mean, DJX kicked out. DJX kicked out. Faz could not believe it. He put the Faz line. Was it? He's now pumped up. Is he going for a second time? No, he's going to stomp on him. Stomp in the back around the ribs here. Oh, and then they stomp on the head. And he's going to, oh, for that arm bar. Yes, he is. That devastating move. We've seen it before. Oh, pulls the hand back. DJX, whole lot of trouble. And then drops the knee. Faz, folks, looks confident now. Not good. Now wails on DJX. Punches after punches, then stomps in the gut. Smart move by DJX, but Faz can fly. He's waiting for him. This is bad idea. Here comes Faz. Oh, what about that? Flies right over the top. Rope like Superman. 
and drops him down and then just uh, tells the uh, announcers what he thinks of him. Kicked by Zuka X. No, oh, doesn't matter. Oh, slams in the table. Look out. This could be disaster. No, he's gonna no, he's gonna send him back through the onto the table. Oh, onto the logo. Sends him back in the ring. No can it, by the way, as well. And he's gonna no, he's, I thought he's going for the box of goodies underneath the ring. He doesn't. He's got him up. What's he's gonna do here? Got him. Oh, fast flex! It is! Fall away flash fast flex! Go for the cover! Haven't seen that move for a long time. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, Faz has won the triple threat. Oh my goodness. Here's the Faz line. I cannot believe it. And then three times did DJX hit the Xfinity, but did not work. Unbelievable. There it is. Third time. Third time. That could have been it, but Faz interrupted. Short arm DD. No, oh, that's what I'm the shot. DDT. Goes to cover one, two, Three, and that was it for midnight. But Faz won, and look at the proud he is. He's the third member of the faction to win the title. Cannot believe Faz has won the Triple Chaos title. That is unbelievable. So he's going to have a good January off while that's happening. Our next match is the Women's Championship. It is Judge Rudy versus Monster May, the defending champion who defeated Kate, the great Kato, at Nightmare on Chaos Street in November. Or early December for us. It was recorded in November. So here we go. Mr. Back to Front is explaining the rules again. Here in Brisbane. Lights go out. Here comes Judge Rudy. Fake cases, fake people. Judge Rudy. And she looks confident in this match. Of course, debuted a couple months ago. Same did Monster May. All right. And she got a defeat on Marley Mayhem. And here comes the women's champion. Very popular. Archer win. And the great Kato turned babyface. So Monster May. She may look like a heel on that entrance, but she's babyface. And be interesting what Monster May can do here. Great Kato has hold on the title for a year. Will we see that for Monster May? Can we see that? They win in November, so it's going to be interesting. Now, so there's that beautiful women's title. Who is going to win? Judge Ready or Monster May? We'll find out. This is our third last match. So we got the championship, heavyweight title. Rex versus Cage. And then the final, Survival of the City's final. We will get a briefcase. This one is a briefcase. And we've got up till November to do, uh, cash that in. So, is it Dark and or is it Stream Next? We'll find out. There's Monster May, the defending champion. Her first title fence is tonight. Crowd are pumped. You can see them. They're absolutely pumped. Monster May respectfully hands the title arrow to a referee. So, her bow there. And gives it to Judge Rudy, who says, that's mine. And he holds onto that belt up high proudly. Beautiful title, like I said. So here we go. Referee rings the bell. And here we go. The old story. Judge Rudy punches. Then a calf kick. Knocks it down. Oh, and then showboat straight away. Well, she had a bit of time there. Uh, Rainmaker by Judge Rudy. She's straight away into the monster mode there. A reversal. Going for a sleeper. We saw that before. The fast but Rope break, break. So no more rules here. Stomps on the back. Then rise on her. Punches after punches. And stomps in the gut. Monster May in trouble. Judge Rudy taking control. Kick, kick. Well, stops there. Knee to the head. And up again. Oh, how about that? Baz into the line. But I guess she couldn't call it the judgment line. Goes for the cut. Oh, she's going up top. She's going up top. Why? Oh, leg drop. I thought that was a swanton bomb, but it was a leg drop. Unbelievable. Just, you can see what's in May now in trouble. She's going here. What is this? Oh, a kick to the head. Monster May is really in trouble. Judge Rudy's taking control. Just need her in the head. 
brings it down. Down a while on her again, punches out the punches. On Monster Mai, Monster Mai is in trouble. She's trying to defend her head there. Oh, reversal. Four arms to the head a couple times. Monster Mai is now woken up. Got her up. What's she going to do here? Nothing. Nope, punch in the gut. Got her up. Oh, Samoan drop, yes. Samoan drop. Monster May. Fully focused here. Got her up again. What is this? Power oh, bomb style move. Got wrench. Judge Rudy is outside the ring. Monster May. You feel it now, but she needs to get out and keep on her. Lock up. What's she doing here? Suplex. No, what is it? Reversal. Oh, Judge Rudy. We're on to the back. Referee's counting. Monster May got her up. Backbreaker. Backbreaker and going to throw away. Yes. Oh, nearly into that. I thought that was going to be into the barricade, but it wasn't. Okay. Referee's counting the three. Four arm. Spinning forearm. It is. Spinning forearm. Oh, uh, Texas Tornado. Spotlight's on. For a little bit. Harlem sidekick by Judge Rudy. Referee's counted five. They've got to get back in the ring. They only got to ten. Knee to the guts. Sends her up the ramp. Referee's counted a six. On to the Christmas Chaos logo. Seven. They've got to get back in the ring. Monster May realizes she's running back. Is she trying to get a count out? Referee's there. She actually accidentally bumped into her. But she didn't do it. What's... What's she doing here? What's this? Back body drop. Slam goes for the cover. One. No, oh, just a one count. Monster May cannot believe it. Stomps on the arm. Dead left. Power bomb. Yes. Dead left power bomb on Judge Rudy. Gonna go for a splash here. Looks like it is. Splashed on to Judge Rudy. Judge Rudy now is the one in trouble. Oh, trying to go for a kick in the gut, but doesn't work. Judge Rudy reverses a couple of kicks. Going to drop that knee, yes, into the head. Gonna, and takes her down. Going to punch her on again. Once again. Oh, and I think Monster May is bleeding. Monster May is bleeding. Stomps on her. Oh, double stomp to the back. Not once. She's going to do it again. We've seen her do that before. Oh, my goodness. Go for the cover. Is this it? Cover one. Two, no, just a two count. Just a two count. Judge Judy is frustrated. Um, well, I was going to go for it. Oh, a boot on the head of oh, Monster May. Sends her over the top rope. They're outside again. Picks Monster May up. Referee's count to one. No, she sends her back inside. She's got her head. Going for a forearm to the head, knocks Monster May down. What is Judge Rudy going to go for? No, going for the elite trigger. Yes, she does. Now we're going to see her hit the judgment slam. She's not doing it. She's just focusing. What's she going to do here? Trying to go for a splash, but it didn't work. Monster May got out. Oh, the monster slam. Hits the monster slam. Goes for the cover. Referee's there. One, two, three. Monster May defends her title. Against Judge Judy. Can you Judge Rudy, sorry, not Judge Judy. I'm so excited. I got a minute stop. Look at that double stomp in the back. Judge Rudy got too confident and got uh, rewarded with the monster slam by Monster May. She has defer, for, won her first defense and she's happy, boy. She and so she she could be. She should be happy. That's a great result. You should see the women's tag team in the new year as well. May, uh, hope to have a tournament with the women's tournament as well as women's singles tournament as well. So here we go. Cage versus Bricks for that championship. Remember, Bricks is still not 100% after that nasty fall off the hell in the cell at Nightwing Cow Street. We saw that affected him in the tournament as well. The defending champion didn't do well and didn't even make it into the quarterfinals. So it just shows you. So... The member of the Vigilante Hit Squad is coming to the ring first. Champion always is the last one to come to the ring. There he is, the member of the Vigilante Hit Squad, Cage. Going against, believe it or not, his former stablemate from straight out of prison, Bricks. So he's going against his former stablemate for that title. Of course, Bricks. Member of the Chillin' Villains. 
And there he comes with that title, the Cowes Championship. What can Brits do? To, can he get a win after he's in his first defence? He has won longest. He's nearly won a year a few times with that title. And a lot of fans are wondering if that was going to happen again. But we saw Cage defeat Brits at Survivor the City. A lot of people said, said, hey, he may get defeated if Cage is the champion. Uh, top you know, battle for the championship, I should say. And Cage straight away after the uh, loss in the quarterfinal said straight away, I am challenging Brex for that title at Christmas Chaos. So here we go. The ring announcer introduction of Cage. Big cheers for him. You can probably see that. He's been a heel, a bad guy for 11 years until he shocked everyone, as I mentioned. Came to Marcus A and he will be the second, second member of the newest faction, the Vigilante Hit Squad, a couple of years ago. It was actually nearly four years ago, as we spoke. There he is, Briggs with the title. It was actually Briggs' stablemate, just in case we saw at War Games. Right? We will see him at uh, Chaos Begin down the road. Who was looked like an ally to Marcus before he turned on him and joined Bricks. That's when Cage came out and thought he was the newest member of the Chilling Villains as well, but turned on straight away, closed lined Bricks and hit the breakout on just in case and then helped Marcus up and revealed to be the member of the Vigilante Hit Squad. Shocked everyone. And he's been very popular ever since. So I you know the crowd will be cheering him on. Here we go. This is it. Who's going to win the title? Try to go for a clothesline by Cage, but sends him into the Bricks into the corner, but didn't work. Bricks gets away with a boot. Then he goes for that clothesline. Stomps on him. Knees onto the head of Bricks. You can see both of them still wearing their orange boots as they were former members of the Australia prison. Going for something. Where's he going to go for? Oh, trying to go for a splash. Speaking of Australia prison, there is another stable mate who's making his return, or actually debut to KO Show Wrestling. That is Chain Gang. Of course, him and Kerry were doing some great battles in Paramount Pro Wrestling many, many years ago. So he is going to make his debut. So it'll be interested to see what happens. Club slams him down by Cage onto Bricks, and now he's got the middle rope splash. Middle rope splash off the corner on Bricks, and then stops on him. Like I said, Bricks is not 100% hit after that devastating hell in the cell with LA Lost. Oh, knees him to the head. Picks him up. Cage sends him over the ropes. Not on the floor. Reversal by Bricks. Gets back in with him. Cage picks him up. How does he do that? Just slams him over on the top rope. Cage going for a total away splash. Oh, he does. On Bricks. That's the only way to bring him down. He's feeling it. Bricks is feeling it. But he needs to keep on him. Stomps on the guts and stomps on the back and he's showboating to the crowd. They're loving it. Stomps on the back. He's going to go for it again. Goes for it again. It's the only way to bring the big guy down in his cage. He's going to go for the third time. Going for it again. Does it again for the third time on Bricks. We saw someone do that before. I'm trying to think who it was. I think it was Student X or Dark. I know it was one of those two. In Sawai, the city, the only way to do it, I think it might also have been, might have been Headmaster as well. I'm stunned, I think. Oh, Rainmaker knee to the head. That could be it if he covers. No, he's not going to go for the cover. Cage in control, punches in the back. He's going for the breakout. He's going for the breakout. He hits it. That's his finisher. Cage close to the ropes. He's got to drag him away. He's a big guy, he's seven feet. He's going to roll him over. He does, but he's still close to the ropes. Referee's going to be there. Goes for the cover. One, two, no, no, just a two count. Cage cannot believe it. He thought that was it. He went for the breakout, but did not work. Stumps in the back. Once again, he's going to go for that potty splash again. Got away. He does. Sent into the waves. Oh, tries to go for an elbow. Doesn't work. Does it that time. He hits the elbow to the head. Oh, Bricks, Bricks. Oh, I heard he's broke his nose, I'm not too sure. He's got him, got him in the arm bar twist. Yes, he does. Man kicks him in the gut. Incredible, incredible matches. This is, we've been having some amazing matches, and we've got one more left. The Survivor the City final. Cannot wait to see who's going to be the winner of that inaugural tournament. 
Page. Got him up. Sidewalk slam, is it? Or is it a backbreaker? Backbreaker. Then forces the arm. Neck back. That's the painful part as well. Bricks going up top. What is he going to do here? He's going to fly, I do believe. Oh, went for the elbow. We've seen him done that before, but missed by Bricks. Got out of the way. Drives the head into his knee. Will Barrow maybe? No, he's going to, oh, he's going to drop that knee down. Oh, drops the knee down. Bricks show button, which he should be focusing. And you can see, oh, no, he, he's able to stop Cage. Oh, he's got him in that chin lock. He's going to give him a punch in the gut here. This is going to hurt. Oh, does one thing. Knocks him down. Come on, on, close line. Trying to go for a close one by Cage. No, it doesn't work. Back body drop by Bricks. He's waiting for him. Going for that spine buster. That's always happens. Yes, serious spine buster. Goes for the cover. He's going for the cover. Referee's going to be there. Yes, she is. Cage is close to the ropes. One, two, just a two count. What a incredible match this is. As we've got one more left. Bricks going for it. Oh, I think he's going for a Bricks bomb, I think. But it didn't work. Cage got out of it. Cage is going to try and drag him away from the ropes. He's doing it. Going for a pin. Referee's right there. One, two, three. Wow! Wow, Cage is the new champion. I am stunned. Cage has won the, wow, Chaos Show champion. He defeated Bricks. We know Bricks wasn't 100%, but that's crazy. So here we go. This is it. The Survivor City's final. It's Dark and Home versus Student X. Wow, like I said, cruiserweight versus a light heavyweight. No heavyweights, super heavyweights in the final. What is that all about? I don't know. It's crazy. So here we go. This is it. And they do get a briefcase with the Survivor City logo on it, which tells them they are in contract. They can come down and challenge anyone or can make a challenge to the champion. So Cage, even though he's won, he's been watching the back now. Along with uh, Marcus and DJ X, watching the back. And that's two titles for the Vigilante. Vig no, three actually for the Vigilante hit squad. So there you go. It's three for them and three for the faction. So here comes Student X. D Dark and already in the ring. He's pumped, changed his mask and gear. Student X is walking around with his normal gear. So he's probably blood soaked in the mask and all that after his last uh, crazy match with Chip. So here we go. This is crazy. As I said, I keep saying that because it is. So here we go. This is it. The 10 minute rules in there. 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 out as well. Referee rings the bell. Here we go. The final. It's here. Kicking the gut by Stunex on Dark Knight now. Does a couple of kicks in the elbow, then a kick in the head, and leg, and the head. Knee in the head, I should say. On Dark Knight. Dark Knight needs to get out of it. What's this? A surfboard, is it? No. Double stomped on the knees of Dark Knight. Proud. Cheering on Student X, but also cheering on Dark Unknown, and why not? Drops the knee because Dark Unknown was one of the loved wrestlers till he turned heel back in 2019. Oh, sling blade by Dark Unknown. He's going to go for a drop kick, followed by that. Unbelievable. Doesn't go for a pin. He's going to go. Oh, he's going for. Oh, that's an interesting move. I think he was going for the poison runner off the bottom rope, but didn't, no one was home. Incredible. Stunex sends him, he's going to send him to the right, but no reverse, and then sent, knees him into the gut, and then he showed boats. Punches him, Dark Unknown, Dark Unknown, in trouble, oh, uppercut, goes straight for a cover, referee's going to be there, yes he is, one, just one cap. Dark Unknown outside of the ring, but he's going to come back in the ring, Stunex is running, no, pulled him off guard, kicks him, and now Russian next week, by Dark Unknown. Oh, look out, flying! <laughs> Stu next thought he didn't have enough run up so he wouldn't be able to fly, but Dark Unknown had the presence of mind just to fly anyway. That's how crazy he is. He points to one of the uh, ring mounts and says, uh, Did you like that? And he actually nodded, so there you go, he was impressed. Oh, code breaker! Sort of an insult with the uh, school code. Goes for a strip cutter, I should say. Goes for a uh, neat leap. Back to the back of the head boss, Jim X. And now Showbun, referees count to five. They've got to get back in the ring. 
actually you probably want it if it's a draw what happens well we're going to have a rematch because it's got to be a winner we're under eight minutes already so two minutes has passed referee still counting elbow to the head it's a seven count sends him to the barricade does student x on dark and nine it's student x gets back in the ring is he trying to get a rank count out here looks like yes referee is counting no she stopped she's been she knows how important this is but count to eight Dark and gets back in the ring. It's thrown in the ropes. No, nope, they collide. They lock up. He's going to do it again. No, he's going to put him against the ropes. Oh, kick into the chest, I think it was. Goes for the cover by Student X. Goes for cover one and just a one count. Oh, punch the gut. This is a good Oh, he's going for the dark alley. Hits the dark alley. We haven't seen that in a while. Goes for the cover. That is seem to move one two no dark and nine thought that was it with a dark alley but he didn't couldn't get it pinned he couldn't get it pinned that's unbelievable dark and nine is frustrated he should keep on him goes for the cut what's he going for is he going for destination no no i think he was but he got reversed and a clothesline by stunix now punches and punches on dark and nine and stomps on him this is incredible. What a match in the final match of the night. The Strinex final. Uh, sorry, the Strinex St final. The Survivor the City's final. I'm so excited. I keep saying that. Oh, a close line. Because Strinex is in charge. But it's not over yet. Dark Unknown can get a win. That'd be great. Dark Unknown's rolling out. And if you're watching which, who's the light heavyweight and who's the cruiserweight. Light heavyweight is Strinex. Who does his corkscrew off the top, over the top rope. On to uh, Dark Unknown. Dark Unknown is the cruiserweight. Former Phoenix champion. Reversal on Strinex, who's also the former Triple Chaos champion. So there you go. And one of these could be a future champion. We don't know. DDT by Dark Unknown on Strinex. Crowder, absolute love this. Dark Unknown drops the arm. Lead. Foot on the arm. Referee count to four. Soccer kick to Strinex. He's going to do it again, is he? Oh, he's going to drop a knee. Drops the knee on Strinex. Crowd loving every moment of this. Referee counted to five. Counted to six. With only five minutes to go in this match. Picks him up. That's going to send him in to the ring. Referee's telling him to get back in the ring. He's sending him up. Could be going for the... Into the unknown. He's going for it. He's going for it. Hits it. This could be it. This could be it. Is he going to go for the cover? One. Two. Oh, rope break. Rope break. Unbelievable. It's too close to the rope. Dark and known is approaching. He's in. Come on. Oh, that's Dio's Tony. He thought he had it. Is he going to go for it again? Could be going for the destination unknown. No, he's going to reverse it. Oh, elbow. Oh, KID style move. Boy, it's Jim X. What is he going to do now? He's setting him up for something. Oh, he was going to go for it. He's going for it. Poor pass. Poor pass kick. Goes for the cover. He's close to the ropes. One, two. Oh, oh, oh Student X 40 had it. The crowd are absolutely loving this. They could not believe it. Student X, what is he going to go for? Oh, wait, he's going to go for that. Finish it. I keep, don't know what he calls. No, he, Dark Nose up top. What's this? Hurricane Runner. Does not cover him. No, he doesn't go for cover. What is he going to do? He's going to drop the knee. Drop, no, he's going to drop one knee on the floor on the mat. Oh. And Strinex is pumped up. Uh, sorry. Dark Unknown outside. He sees him. He sees him. Corkscrew off over the rope. Uses one foot on the middle rope to fly over. Crowder loving this. Drops the leg. Sorry, just dropped the foot onto the knee. And now he's going to stomp on him. Oh, stomps into the head. Dark Unknown in serious trouble. Going to lock his arm up. Doing an arm bar before he's going to drop the double knee onto the back. He does. Crowd of gun nuts. We actually three and a half minutes to go now in this match. This is incredible. They both want to be the inaugural winners of Survival of the City. Sends him back in the ring. Does it. Stu next. Dark Unknown is seriously in trouble. He's going up top. He's going to go for it. No, he's not. It's doing it. A dark. Sorry, I'm so confused now. Dark Unknown. What a beautiful drop kick. He's going up again. He could be going for it now. He's going for it. He hits it. Is that it? Is that it? Goes for the cover. One, two. 
Three skin X. This is a fiver of the city champion. Can you believe it? How about that? Here's a replay. Dark known with the into the unknown. He thought he had it. Seriously thought he had it after that. Whole pass. And then goes for his other move. Unbelievable. Student X is the winner. And believe it or not. Poor Dark and I can see him in the back. He's disappointed. Can you believe it? Student X back to back to back to back wins. No losses in the tournament. No losses in the quarterfinal. No losses in semifinals. And no losses in the final. Wow. So let's have a look at the match card. So here it is. Let's have a match recap. What incredible finals. What incredible Survivor of the City. We all thought, well I thought we would see super heavyweights and heavyweights making it into the final. But we did not see that. There was a cruiserweight and a light heavyweight making it into the finals. Crazy. So here it is. Dark and Iron defeats Degori in the Survivor of the City semi-final. In match two, it was Gen X defeats Chip in Group B. Both are in the finals. In match three, Tornado Kid defeated, defended his title against Gridiron Joe for the Hardcore Hardware Championship. Faz, who turned on his fellow Madhouse rejects in, in uh, War Games, comes out to win, gives the faction their third title. Can you believe that? In match five, Judge Rudy could have won but didn't. So Monster May defended her title. In the women's championship. Then we had a new champion, Cage, against Bricks. Of course, Bricks wasn't his 100%. He did his best, but lost the title straight away after he got the win. Incredible. Uh, defended once to LA, lost at uh, Nightmare and Chaos Street. Then the final, Dark and Iron versus Junex. And Junex is your survivor of the city finalist. That is incredible. How about that? Now he's got a briefcase. He has got a briefcase now, so he can run in any time and defend and demand it a match, or he can uh, request a match with the champion any time until November. So he's got to November to do it. So he could do it. And now February match, which is Chaos Begins, or could be in June for Chaos Mania, or could be... The others like Nightmare and Chaos Street, well, yes, Nightmare and Chaos Street, or, you know, any one of those, Lost in Carnage, you don't know. It's going to be interesting. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, thank you for the great views you gave me on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't be afraid to comment as well. I'd like to know what you thought of these matches as well. Um, and uh, no nasty stuff, by the way. Just uh, positive comments as well. But, um, and it can be negative, but not extreme, if you know what I mean. But I hope you guys enjoy that. I will have me other uh, other content. Uh, we haven't finished the World Sports Car Championship. That's going to take two years to finish. So, um, actually, just quickly, a set of Corsa, uh, not a set of Corsa, Automobile Lista number two. Uh, just a quick update Le Mans is going to be out soon. The 24-hour racetrack, Le Mans, is going to be out. So keep an eye on that. That will be out as well. And some others. Already got the Formula 1 91 season cars out, as well as some classic tracks, uh, Montreal and Brazil as well, 91-91. So that's already out. So keep an eye on that. Um, also, I've got some new games as well. Well, some are not really, they're not really new. I've got... Um, European Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator. I saw that on YouTube and I thought, oh, I've got to get these. My father, my father, actually, believe it or not, my father and family members were used to be truck drivers many years ago, so no surprise there. Uh, so I got that. And also got a game that I did not know exist, and it's in beta, beta mode or beta mode uh, still so far, but it's Race League, if you heard that. If you haven't, have a go and have a look. Uh, it's actually got a track editor in it. So I'm learning the ropes on the track editing. So it's still in beta mode, but uh, you do have a, f a few cars like Formula 1, Porsche, uh, NASCAR just came out, and Rally. So you can have a Rally cross track and all that. So uh, very interesting. So yeah, I just got that the other day. So I 
being planned. So I hope to put that up later down the road. But race leg, it's been out for a year or so. So I did not know anything about it till a couple of weeks back. I thought, oh, this is interesting. So I uh, got it. So anyway, anyway, enough talking. I uh, hope you enjoy Chaos Show Wrestling. Uh, I'll be back in February. I'm just going to have a break. Like I said, do some catching up with other stuff and just have a break. Uh, I know Ducky G and Jakey are planning to have a non-Chaos Show Wrestling tournament, which we will cover. Plan to do live coverage as well. Not live matches, but they will be recorded, but be live commentary. And uh, plan to do that down the road as well. So I am Marcus, along with Sue Giggles, who's been helping me with wrestling for a few months, still since September, I think. So Giggles, if you're watching, thank you so much. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you. And uh, thank you to everyone else. Same to the viewers as well, who uh, gave me some amazing views as well. So I couldn't have done it without you as well. Have a great new year. Hope it's going to be a great 2024 for you guys as well. And we'll catch you down the road. I'm Marcus. Thank you. And bye for now.